All right, so right now you should have your fan page set up. Um, we talked about that in the previous video. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you how to get some likes to your, to your page. Uh, just, just some basic stuff now. Uh, we'll go over some other stuff, some other detail stuff later on in the course, but just something ba basic. Remember, we're just trying to keep it, just trying to keep it simple right now. So what we wanna do is, if you notice, I'm on my fan page now. Um, you know, this is the one that I set up before. And, uh, but if you notice right here at the top, you see that long address? That's your website address for your Facebook fan page. Now, that's a little long. I don't know if I want that fan page uh, web address that long. So, but co the cool thing is that Facebook gives you the ability to shorten that URL down a little bit so it becomes a little bit more attractive. Uh, so let me show you how you actually do that. Cause I really don't want to promote my fan page in the future with that long web address, right? So you definitely don't want to do that if you're going to be doing some promotion and stuff like that for your fan page. Uh, you want to kind of shorten that down. Let me show you what I mean. So what I'm going to do, I'm on my fan page right now. I'm, I'm actually logged into my test account. And uh, what, what you want to do is click on where it says settings. So you click on settings and what it's going to do is going to take you to the settings portion of your fan page where you can change, edit, do all kinds of cool stuff, pictures, images, all that. Um, and what you want to do is, let's see here, I think it's under page info. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, let me go back and just uh, make sure you follow me there. So again, I was on my fan page. Right here, I'm on my fan page. Well, let me kind of go back. Just want to make sure that you guys are, are following me here. And hold on a second. Okay. Go one more. Just want to make sure you got it. Let me back up here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're back on my fan page here. This is just asking me to do some more customization, so I'm going to close that out. So again, I'm on my fan page, and what we want to do in the top right-hand corner here is click on settings from your fan page, okay? So click on settings. When you click on that, it's going to take you to another page here. It's going to, a lot of information, and again, you can check all this stuff out later, uh, but you want to go where it says page info. Click on page info right there on the left-hand side. This is going to take you to another page here. And uh, it's going to have your page up here. We're going to have your, your cover photo. It's going to have your cover photo you know, image right up here. But you want to scroll down where it says page info. And if you notice, you got category, the name, because I can change the name if I ever wanted to. I can give it John Doe or Steve Rachel or whatever. Uh, right here it says Facebook web address. Well, we want to change that. We don't want that long Facebook uh, website address that we saw earlier. So I'm going to click on enter Facebook web address and uh, give it a second here and we're going to create a web address for this page so it's, it's it's basically just walking me through as you can you can tell facebook really just walks you through every step so i want to create a web address for this page that's what i want to do I, want, I don't want facebook to give me a generic one i want to create my own so it's asking me okay what fan page do you want to use because you can have multiple fan pages so you, do, you don't just have to have just one um, you can have fan page for you. You can have a fan page for one of your products, fan page for your business opportunity, whatever, right? But the main one that I promote most of the time, probably 99% of the time, I, straight up, 99, probably 0.9% of the time, I'm promoting, if I'm using my fan page, I'm promoting my fan page, not a fan page tied to some business, okay? So just a, just a little insight there. It's all about me, right? I'm the only product that... Uh, nobody else has, okay? And you're the only product that nobody else has as well. That's what gives you the edge, all right? So again, I'm just using the test account one, right? That's the one that I created. And it's asking me, okay, what do you want to call it? Well, it's going to be facebook.com forward slash, I can say, let's just say Mr. Test Account. How about that? And of course, if you're creating your first fan page, you should use your name whatever your name is because remember that's what you're promoting initially okay so that's what i recommend okay you can do however you want to do it but that's what i recommend that help you get to that attraction stage you're trying to attract people to you 
which is attracted to your bit which is connected to your businesses that you promote all right so uh we're just gonna say mr test account and that's then i click on the button here the check availability because somebody already might have it so if i click on that uh it says mr test account is available okay if it's not available it'll let you know just go and change something add something or uh, whatever or change the whole thing whatever you need to do um you know it, it'll it'll let you know okay so uh if everything looks good everything here looks fine mr test account is available i'm going to hit confirm then it's going to do what it does give it a second here and now it says your username mr test account has been set for your test account fan page now you can direct your fans to facebook.com mr test account because that's Mr. Test Account, that's what, I, that's what I called it, right? So if I go to it, boom, it comes right up here. And as you can tell, there it is. Facebook.com, Mr. Test Account, okay? So somebody asked me, well, hey, Steve, what's your, what's your fan page? Well, what fan page do you use? I said, well, just go to Facebook.com, right? Forward slash Mr. Test Account or forward slash John Doe, Mary Sue, whatever, Steve Rachel, whatever, whatever you called it, right? Uh, I think on my other one, I, my fan page, on my main page, I think is work with Steve and Rachel. Uh, uh, and again, I can change it if I want to, so on and so forth. So it's really cool there. Why is that important? Because again, your fan page gives you the ability to get more people. Because remember, on your Facebook wall, you can only have 5,000 friends. And that's a lot. And if, you're, if you follow everything in this boot camp eventually, you're going to reach that cap of 5,000 friends, right? And, and then what? Well, you want to have a fan page so you can go beyond that. So you can have 10,000, 100,000 likes because a like on your fan page is like a friend. Okay, why? Because if they like your fan page and you're updating your status on your fan page, a lot of those status updates they'll see in their news feed on Facebook. Does that make sense? So, but you can, you can have as many likes as you want. I've seen people with hundreds of thousands of likes. I've seen people with millions of likes on their fan page. So it just goes, goes to show you what they're doing in business, right? So, so again, that's what it, what it does. But what we want to do, we want to promote our fan page initially to our people that are connected to us on Facebook, okay, on our wall, like our friends, things of that nature. So what I'm going to do now is, let's see here, I'm going to, okay, I got a Mr. Test account, so I'm going to go back to my Facebook wall, my regular page right here. And I'm going to ask some people to like my fan page. So, and I've got some swipe here that you can use. Let me skip this. I haven't been in this account in a while. So it's, uh, throwing up all kinds of messages. Um, but as you can see here, what I, what I want to do is I've got on this account, I've got like 322 friends, not, not a lot or whatever. And again, I don't use this for really anything. It's mostly just for testing and video trainings and stuff like that. So 322 friends. So if that's you, I want to ask some of those people to like my fan page so they can be connected not only to my wall, but also to my fan page. So I actually created a message that you can use and i'm gonna let me read it i'll read it here in a second so let me go ahead and type in facebook.com forward slash mr test account okay all right so let me let me copy that Cause I wanted to, uh, let me refresh. Pay this no mind. I'm just trying to do something here real quick. You'll see. All right. So since I got my, my fan page in there, give it a second here. All right. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. See what it did? See, because before when I type, when I copy this message in, it didn't highlight the fan page. So what it does is Facebook, of course, gives a preview of whatever your website address is. Okay, so that's what it just did. So this is the message that I'm asking my friends on my Facebook wall. I'm saying, hey, I just created my Facebook fan page. Check me out at www.facebook.com forward slash Mr. Test Account and like it. I'm asking them to go ahead and go to it and like it. 
and send me your fan page and I like yours. Smiley face. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to change this to where nobody else will see it. Again, this is just a test account. So I'm just going to set it to where uh, on this particular post, the only person that will see it, it will be me. Only me will see this post. So when I hit post, give it a second, and it looks like that. All right? So, hey, I just created my Facebook fan page. Check me out at Facebook.com. Mr. Test Account has got a hyperlink so they can click on that as well and like it. Then send me your fan page and I'll like yours. Here's, you can just use that, guys. If you want to create something on your own, great. But if you just want to use that swipe copy, swipe copy is just copying what other people say in terms of like sales copy and things of that nature. So if you want to use that, hey, I just created my Facebook fan page, period, space, Okay, or enter, enter, you know, give us, give it a space in between. Check me out at whatever your, remember, go ahead and change your, so you see why I didn't want to use that real long one? Because it would have been like long, it would have went down to the next line. So I wanted to shorten it up some. So check me out at facebook.com forward slash Mr. Mr. Test account and like it. Then I got, send me your fan page and I'll like yours. Okay, um, and just do that. And you'll see, you'll start getting a few people going to like your page. And you can do this like every, you know, once a week or whatever, or every other day or something. The reason why is because those likes, which you'll find out later in training, can make you a lot of money in the future. Okay. We'll get into all that later. Remember, we're day by day, <laughs> week by week, right? Uh, we're just, I'm walking you through, I'm holding your hand through the process. So all, a lot of the things that we're doing now will start to make sense later in the course, okay? So I hope this makes sense, guys. Really simple. Fan page, just get someone to like your page and, uh, and go from there, all right? So that's it for soliciting likes on your page. We'll be doing some more a little bit later on, and there's some other trainings in the back office of MLSP that really goes into a lot more in depth in terms of getting people to like your pages and everything. We'll get into a lot of that later, but for now, you know, go ahead and make sure you shorten your, your, your fan page URL address, your link that, they, that Facebook creates for you. Just go ahead and shorten it into something. Typically, facebook.com forward slash your first and last name. That's always a good place to start. If you want to put work with whatever and all that good stuff, that's fine too. But just make sure you have your name in there because remember, that's the product that you're selling. So that's it for now in this video. And uh, we'll go ahead and cut it now and we'll see you guys on the next training video.